Namaste and warm greetings. Myself, Dr. Rupesh Kumar, I am a senior consultant neurosurgeon. So, here in this case report, we had this twin children who are sisters around 8 years of age who came to us referred by a neuro senior neurophysician who had these symptoms of recurrent drop attack, especially in one child. On evaluation with the MRI brain, what was the surprise that the entire blood supply to the brain was completely blocked and the brain was trying to get blood from the alternate channels. It was not sufficient and the child started developing symptoms, neurophysician was seen this child and then he referred for further management to us. Then we evaluated their MRI which was showing significant reduction in the blood. We went ahead and investigated further with a MRI perfusion studies which are more specific and found that there is a significant blockage and less blood which is going to the left side of the brain which is causing the symptoms. Though the right side also was affected, the left was more affected and producing symptoms. Because she was a twin, we just wanted to make sure that the other child is well and we did the MRI to the other child also. To our surprise, the child also had the similar blood supply shortage to the brain though she was not symptomatic, she was in the very early symptoms. So, this is a case of a twin children who had this very peculiar disease called Moya Maya wherein there is less blood supply to the brain and because of that the recurrent episodes of many strokes and strokes and epilepsy which happen. Now, having diagnosed why do we, what do you do for these children? So, generally there are no medical management because these blood vessels are blocked forever. So, we need to create alternative channels for the brain to get oxygen and glucose. So, what we generally do is there are enough blood circulation happening to the skin. So, we divert one of the skin channels, we place a small hole in the brain, take the channels inside and stitch the blood supply to the brain vessels so that the brain circulate, receives circulation from outside to inside rather than through here. This procedure is called the brain bypass. Similar to what you do for a heart block, you do heart bypass surgery for the heart. The same thing which is done we call the brain bypass surgery for the brain. So, the blood supply of the skin is diverted to the brain. Now, what is so peculiar in this? The blood vessels in the brain are very, very tiny and they, they do not have the proper adventitial layer. So, it becomes extremely challenging to suture these vessels. So, that is why the brain bypass is not very much very popular because it is extremely difficult, technically demanding and challenging. Moreover, in children these vessels are less than 1 millimeter and to see this vessel in the eye and then take stitches almost impossible. So, generally these procedures are done very few in the country and in very select centers and we need a special magnified microscope so that we can zoom in to the maximum and what the 1 mm can look like a, like a bigger vessel so that we can safely take stitch without occluding the vessel. So, this is the technically very demanding surgery we call that STAMCA bypass which was planned for these two children. We did to plan for both these children because one child is symptomatic already, the other child may have symptoms. So, the we admitted the children, we counseled the family, the parents and uh, on day 1 we did first day of the surgery for the symptomatic child. The surgery took almost around 5 hours and uh, the child recovered quite well and the next day we did so same procedure for the other child also. Both these children were in the hospital for 4 to 5 days and they were discharged in a very healthy condition. We called them back after 7 days, we checked the wound, wound was perfectly fine and then we called them again after 1 month. We did a scan again and we were quite satisfied that the brain was now getting good blood supply from outside to inside. So, effectively the brain bypass surgery was working very well. And Fortunately, both these the especially the symptomatic child did not have any of these symptoms post op and they are now recovering well. Now, what next? Now, we have done this for the left side. We have to do imaging again after 6 months or 1 year. We will see how the right side of the brain is getting blood supply. If fortunately there is a good supply, there is no much demand, then we will just continue medical treatment. If there is shortage, we may have to do a similar procedure on the right side also. Because generally most of these children may require a bypass on both the sides of the brain. So, that is the nutshell in a short about this story. So, thank you for watching. Thank you very much.